Greetings little mortals, Hoyover's English has a bad reputation for overreacting to very specific controversial topics. This reaction has done them no favors, in fact it has caused more harm than good. As this is quite the dangerous part of the rabbit hole I had to actually rewrite this to make sure the points were made precise and without any room for misunderstanding under normal circumstances. First let me address the three contract points the Twitter user can be referencing. One was a misconception on Pretty Ugly Little Liars regarding termination under conviction of a crime. In order for this to be the case there would have had to be an actual conviction, not to mention the cited term in question is in fact mispresented as it is a blanket term regarding all crimes. As there is no conviction to speak of this cannot be applied to Elliot. A different but similar one is something that would have been revealed in a background check and would again require a actual conviction of the crime. Things again the Twitter user did not have because it was never there. Again there was no conviction and the police report that was able to be found did not name a VA nor did it specify the VA's gender. Because of that this too cannot be applied to Elliot. The last one is actually a illegal infringement on speech it is this one that we will be addressing going forward in the conversation. It was a term that Hoyover's English added after an incident regarding a mistake they made got a great deal of negative attention on Twitter. After being outed as having this term Hoyover's did say they were going to phase this term out of their contracts long before Inajima was released. It would be very suspect if they still had it in regards to VA who voiced Samuru characters. The mistake in question is in regards to a funny little easter egg that may still be present today. Early on the game's release Genshin English had made a mistake that broke three NPCs from the Mondstadt region. The players recognize this as the Flora's boyfriend incident. Did you know at one point you can talk to the NPC behind Flora and that NPC would be her younger sister? Anyone who did this found out really quickly that the mistake was simply switching Flora's and her sister's modules. A simple switch to the proper models would have fixed the issue but Hoyovers chose instead to remove the male NPC entirely from the game, even anything referencing him was removed. It is however noted that for a time Flora's sister maintained her original lines long after the fact. I am not certain if they are still there but interacting with the NPC used to reveal a text block that looks as if it should belong to a character far younger than the model would suggest. During this debacle players who actually play the game suggested a few fixes, one was to simply switch the characters to their intended model. These were ignored in favor of the clear overreaction to the incident. It is this same overreaction that could potentially cause some serious legal issues for Hoyovers. Another controversial incident was supposedly a former VA had spilled the beans on the illegal contract terms making a rather huge stink in the community. Players did not like the idea of Hoyovers interfering with free speech laws in the U.S. to the extent they were attempting to. Since any term that openly violates a person's free speech outside the workspace, or when not representing the company is considered unenforceable it was in Hoyovers' best interest to remove this term and others like it. Even places where speech can be restricted there are detailed limitations. While in theory Elliot came close to crossing that line the fact remains people who were at that live stream on the date mentioned seem to think otherwise or are confused. On top of this the clip the Twitter user presented could not be linked to a full live stream making some users suspect that it is actually a deep fake. Notice on my desktop below the Genshin Impact icon there is what appears to be a Mona icon. This is in fact a AI deep fake mimicking Mona's VA voicing the you're not a real woman meme. The voice is so well done there is no telling with the human ear if it is real or fake. To add insult to the deep fake injury, the program used to make it cost nothing to use. There are better programs that are extremely cheap and people who would not mind spending that money to sink a male VA's career. Again the evidence of the supposed Twitter user and their supporters exposed that something very terrible occurred. The truth is being hidden now not by Elliot as his own comments on the issue hints that again this was just another attack on the male VAs in the industry. This time with people who were aware of Hoyover's awful habit of overreacting to incidents of that nature appear to have exploited that knee-jerk reaction to create a potential legal nightmare for Hoyover's. Yet again Hoyover's HR slash PR is on the hot seat as having caused this problem, 
the last company to think they can weather this kind of storm was Funimation. Despite internal issues where the highest persons were paid ungodly sums for no effort in actually functioning as a proper localizer, Funimation's final nail came when these people with overinflated egos went after one of their popular male VAs. This is known as the Vic case and it bars some horrible resemblances to what happened to Elliot. The by far largest and most horrible resemblance is the tattletale PR statement Genshin Twitter made. With the information we have gathered it is assured that Hoyovers put too much faith into the comments of a very unreliable Twitter user instead of actually looking into the matter properly. While they can try to hide behind a contract the fact remains the only term that they ever had that they could have hid behind was supposed to be phased out due to legal issues long before they even signed Elliot. Overreactions aside it looks like it's high time Hoyovers decided to address its internal issues before bothering to replace Tynary's VA. The irony is if they do not address these oversensitivity issues within their own company they are likely to invest far too much into Twitter rumors that are unreliable and suspect. This is something that will only cause legal issues for them in the end.